today I would like to talk about uh, an antidepressant uh, named sertraline. Sertraline is a generic name. Brand name in US is Zoloft. The video is uh, for informational and educational purpose only. So what is the mechanism of uh, action? So sertraline or Zoloft came in US for depression in 1992. It was FDA approved in US for obsessive compulsive disorder in 1996. Sertraline is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. It inhibits reuptake of serotonin, thereby it increases the extracellular level of serotonin in the extracellular space. And that's where we need more serotonin because we have less serotonin and that's why people get more depressed. So it increases the serotonin in the brain. Uh, Zoloff is also a unique uh, medication as when it comes to SSRI class because uh, it also increases the dopamine in the brain. It does have different brand name. In US, it goes by Zoloft. In India, it goes by Dexit or Zosert. In Pakistan, it goes by Cert or Seroft. And in UK, it goes by Lustral. Uh, there are many FDA-approved indications. Main one is major depressive disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, social anxiety disorder, panic disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder and premenstrual dysphoric disorder. It's a pretty good medication, especially for premenstrual dysphoric disorder. Off-label use for bipolar depression, but you have to make sure that a mood stabilizer has to be present uh, with uh, an, an, any antidepressant because the chances of switching to mania can be high if a person is only on, any antidep on one antidepressant. So a mood stabilizer has to be on board. Um, generalized anxiety disorder is also one of another off-label use of the medication and I have used it quite a bit for generalized anxiety disorder. It's, it's a pretty good medication for anxiety disorder also. Dosage form, it comes in tablets and liquid solution also. Not a lot of antidepressant comes in liquid solution. It's also very good for people who have a hard time swallowing the pills, uh, tablets or the, uh, or the capsules. So it, it's pretty good. It's also good for... Uh, People who are uh, like older patients who are suffering from dementia or any kind of memory problems or who have problem with swallowing, so liquid solution is a good uh, form of uh, medication for them. In, in tablets, it comes in 25, 50, and 100 milligram, and in liquid solution, 20 milligram per ml. Dosing, doses range from 25 to 200 milligram. I have seen some people who are above 200 milligram, especially for people who have severe depression or severe obsessive compulsive disorder. Usually it's better to take it in the morning because it can be activating. So at night, sometimes people can have problems with sleep. There are a few percentage of people who have problems with sleep, um, like who feel more sedated when they take it in the morning. So some of them take it at night, but there are very few of those who take it at night. Most of the people take it in the morning. And it's better to take it with food because um, Zoloft uh, has a side effect of stomach upset. I believe it, it causes more stomach upset than other SSRIs medication. Pricing, I checked Walmart side and Costco side. Uh, at Walmart, 30 tablets of 100 milligram is $9 and at Costco, 30 tablets of 50 milligram tablets uh, cost around seven to eight dollars, and it's for people who would like not to use their medic or not to use the insurance or, or who don't have insurance. So this is without the insurance uh, uh, cost. Adverse effect, uh, as I mentioned earlier, you know, stomach upset can be um, a major side effect, but those side effects usually goes away. Nausea, it costs uh, almost 26 percent of people have nausea, diarrhea, 20 percent insomnia because it can be a little activating so it can cause problems with sleep so that's why people take it in the morning dry mouth uh, if people have dry mouth i usually recommend biotin mouthwash or biotin gums fatigue usually goes away dizziness i tell people to drink an adequate amount of uh, fluids in some people uh, it causes tremors but it's it usually goes away uh, some people will complain about increased sweatiness. Uh, also, it, it, it can be a temporary side effect. It should it usually goes away. Appetite, it can cause reduction in appetite and even sometimes cause some weight loss, but it's not very common though. Sexual side effects, so again, 
with majority of uh, antidepressant sexual side effects can happen ejaculatory failure is one of the side effect and it can cause problems with ejaculation that's why a lot of time we prescribe zoloft in people who have premature ejaculation uh, so they have hard time maintaining their uh, uh, ejaculation or they have hard time being in a sexual uh, in, in a in, in an uh, they have hard, they don't have prolonged orgasm Uh, and they have uh, premature ejaculation so sometimes we use zoloft uh, and it does work really good for that so even it, it, it's a side effect of the medication but sometimes we use in people who have this problem also uh, serotonin syndrome is one of the major side effects it's very very rare but if it happens it is it's a dangerous side effect it causes mental side of changes like confusion agitation people start hearing voices seeing things it can cause increased blood pressure even increased temperature and tremors if you start noticing you are having any of those symptoms please contact your doctor you know uh, discontinuation syndrome with any ssris any antidepressants is better not to stop on your own talk to your doctor it's better to taper it down and stop it because if people start uh, stop it suddenly they can have dizziness or flu like symptoms their body aches uh, or they feel like electric shock sensation increase sadness increase irritability that can be discontinuation syndrome so it's better to taper down any antidepressant very gradually so you don't have the side effect uh, what to do when switching an antidepressant it's uh, better to um, there's a type of it should be um, zoloft not effexor so i'm sorry about that Uh, so to taper down it's better to taper down zoloft gradually uh, it's better to taper down and at the same time increase the um, zoloft at the same time uh, or the, uh, so let's say if you are adding zoloft so it's better to increase the zoloft at the same time you uh, decrease uh, another antidepressant um, but if you have to dec- stop the zoloft so it's better to gradually decrease the zoloft at the same time uh, gradually increasing another antidepressant what is the unique thing about zoloft zoloft is an ssri uh, it's work pretty good for some people uh, it is a good medication because it has that activating property because it works on serotonin and also works on dopamine receptor so it's better for people who have low energy fatigue so it's a good medication for that it also works really good along with wellbutrin so you start people on zoloft or someone is on zoloft and they are noticing improvement in their mood but their focus is poor the energy levels are still low so it it goes really well with wellbutrin i've seen a lot of people on zoloft and wellbutrin together and and they do really good also zoloft as i i mentioned that it can have the sexual side effects sometimes people use wellbutrin along with zoloft and it does help with the sexual side effects wellbutrin does help with the sexual side effects Uh, also it's a good medication for people who have heart problems um, and there are a lot of research showing that women who are above 50 they usually do better with uh, estrogen on board along with an antidepressant so if you have someone on zoloft or even on any antidepressant it's better to make sure that they are on estrogen because especially with zoloft it does work well on people who are above 50 on female who are above 50 and it, if they are on estrogen so the, it works better rather than only on uh, zoloft without estrogen some uh, ssris increase prolactin but zoloft usually does not it's a very rare side effect but sometimes increase prolactin cause uh, uh, menstrual uh, uh, problems uh, menstruation problems so female don't have menstruation regularly uh, so if someone have that problem with uh, any ssris it's better to switch them uh, to zoloft because zoloft usually does not uh, increase prolactin um so overall it's it's a very good medication uh, it's generic it's being tolerated uh, pretty well but um, if you have any side effects uh, talk to your doctor and if you start having any symptoms of suicide any suicidal thoughts please consult your doctor overall in my experience it's a it's a pretty good medication thanks for watching uh, um, i hope you like the video uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also let us know what you think uh, in the comment section below have a nice day